Yo, what up? I'm back at you. It's me again, Mike Cardi. We about to get... Yo, what up? I'm back at you. We're about to get all the way up for today. I'm going to talk about it Tuesday with Mike. Uh, you already know there's some things out here going on. Um, we want to talk about Serena Williams, okay, and why she is up here being drug tested way more than the other American tennis athletes. She has been tested at least five times more than the other athletes. It has been stated uh, and documented. Uh, she has recently been uh, hit with a anti-doping strike or a warning or something like that, pretty much where she was scheduled to take a drug test, but the clinician came about 12 hours before scheduled time or whatever and she was unavailable to do her drug testing at that point in time or whatever so they gave her i guess a strike i think a strike on her uh and you can only get up to three strikes whenever you're with the american tennis association and with on the big grand scale of the olympic circuit i guess or something like that Whatever, who gives a fuck? All I know is they have dang gone try to hem my motherfucking girl up by giving her more drug tests than the rest or whatever. And it's maybe because she has won all these motherfucking dang on grand slams and things like that. And they really think that her ass is superhuman. That is my baby mama. I love me some motherfucking Serena Williams. Down, baby. Let me tell you, she can do no wrong. Okay? Um... Like I say, I think that this is a dang on scheme to try and get her ass or whatever. You know, the people is always trying to go get the great ones or whatever. Especially the ones that's melanated or whatnot that's dripping with that sauce, baby. And uh, this is another one of those damn schemes. And I really think that they're trying to hem her up. And they want to try and find some type of way to... Uh, uh, to try and discredit her in the end and all that. You know, maybe it's just me or whatever, but, you know, Serena is kind of like, she she really was oblivious to this. She thought that she was being tested just as equally as the rest of her counterparts and stuff, but I'm like, girl, you should have been on this show. Uh, this whole tennis thing was not designed for y'all. That's what your fucking damn daddy was fighting for all the way back when, whenever y'all was out there with the beads and shit, you and Venus out out there and them shits was busting all over the damn court or whatever. He was fighting for tennis equality or whatnot. Just because you have won a few championships, Serena, you know what I'm saying, don't mean that it is still there. They still want you out of the motherfucking game and they cannot wait for you and Venus to fully fucking retire or whatnot. But what they really don't understand is as soon as y'all retire, the motherfucking ratings is gonna go down because don't nobody watch that shit <clears throat> unless y'all asses is up there on the dang on court. And this new um, black girl that's uh, out here playing or whatnot. I don't know if her name is Sloan or something like that. I don't know. She won the Grand Slam or whatnot. She tough as nails, too. I'm waiting to see what she going to do or whatnot. But, um, you know, Serena was really oblivious to this whole dang on, you know, anti-doping thing. She thought that she was being, you know, tested equally, and uh, she just really want everybody to be tested the same way. If you're going to test her just as much, you know, uh, five times or two times in a week or whatever, you need to be testing everybody else two times in a week or whatever, because you're not really going to find anything. It's pretty much what she's telling you or whatnot, and it's other people doing other shit or whatever that I'm not doing, because this is natural, pure God-given talent here or whatever, that they are doing to try to compete with me. So it's not me you need to be going after this. They ass. Pretty much what she's trying to tell they ass, but I gathered in that whole little statement without her saying it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because I speak ghetto or whatever, because she got a little hood in her or whatever, you know? And I love me some dang on Serena, and she gathers the girls real good whenever she's in the interviews and all that, and that's what I love about her, her and Venus, but dang on Serena reads the girls down or whatnot. And um, like I say, I think that um, you know, pretty much you need to dang on keep your eyes open, um, Serena, whenever these things are about, because you never know. Like I say, people are out to get you. They have to come get your crown and all this that, and the third. And like I say, recognize that just because you are 
you know, married to a white man and your child is mixed or whatever, that does not mean that, you know what I'm saying, there are not disparities going on within your sport and all that. Yes, they love you, but they hate you all at the same dang on time or whatever. And I need for you to not be oblivious to this whole situation. And I do hope the American Tennis Association does address this whole thing. They have said that they are going to look into it if there is some type of complaint or whatever. Why well, I would consider this like a formal complaint that now that she has spoke out about it and it has been articles written about it or whatever I, I suspect that y'all need to be doing something about this whole situation because you know that makes absolutely no sense and I know for a fact some of those other athletes be out there taking other shit to try and compete with her ass because them girls the way she be slinging that damn ball around the court or whatever 100 miles an hour and shit whatever they be up there dang on trying to damn break their damn neck or whatever so like I say it's 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 one of those things. So, Serena, like I say, keep your eye on the prize because um, they coming for you. And this is like your little warning sign right here, okay? This is your little warning sign because you even t a tweeted way back in like May or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anti doping's back here for the second time this week or whatever. Like, why don't they just leave me alone? Boom, right there. Like I say, they're trying to hem you up. So, just keep your nose clean because we all behind you, okay? So, boom, let's move. Right the fuck along, okay, dang on Black China. Yeah, since we talking about sports and stuff, yes, Black China is back out there at the Intramurals Championship. She has her new dang on 19 year old boyfriend by the name of Devin Haney or whatnot. Apparently, she's been dating this guy for the last few months or whatever. Like I say, I don't know if she's still dating the YBN J stuff. They do this little makeup to break up thing, but apparently, his ass been getting played the whole damn time. Both of the ass been getting played by this dang on loose coochie hoe or whatnot. This chick all over the dang on internet sucking every damn body dick and stuff. And now that you can't get you a damn grown up man, you gotta take your ass to the teenagers and stuff like that. He's on now. Nasty ass, nasty ass, bedpan built ass, commode built ass bitch, or whatever. Like I say, Black China, you need to pull your motherfucking shit together, or whatever. Like I say, I don't know what's going on with you, but uh, like I say, pick on somebody, you know, go go out with people your own age or whatever. But everybody know what the fuck you about. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no damn set skills in the dang on bedroom, and ain't nobody about to put up with that shit. So you got to go after the dang on people that don't know what good sex is all about. So boom. I'm tired of talking about your raggedy coochie ass. Let's move right along. <laughs> okay, so Walmart is under fire and people are trying to boycott Walmart because they got this Impeach 45 jersey out of wet night. And I don't know about y'all, but it makes me want to go on a motherfucking Walmart shopping motherfucking spree, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit makes me want to go on a shopping spree on Walmart because, uh, like I said, you know Walmart is pretty much, you know, they get all the uh, customers from the minority, and if I'm not mistaken or whatever, it was, you know, based in the minority communities to begin with, so and now it has kind of spread it itself on out or whatever, you know, it's done across the mainstream. Everybody shops at Walmart, but for me, you know, you all right with me at this point in time, and uh, if you have not got you a dang on Impeach 45 jersey from Walmart, please go out there and go get you one, okay? And if not, you can hit me up, and I can make you one right here at my own dang on house with my heat press and shit. All right? <laughs> Boom. So, uh... I think that's all that I want to kind of talk about today on Talk About It Tuesday. I will be back at you all with some more dang on shit. I ain't mean to keep you all too long. Just a couple of things was on my dang on mine. And I love you all. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>